Hello, this video is to demonstrate our main bar and our salon center for the newest version of 2.3. Okay, first off is our main bar. We have over the left here, the notification for online booking. In the middle here, we have booking where you book and manage all of your appointments. And then you have salon center in the middle here uh, is the screen we're looking at and next to it is create and charge where you create quickly a ticket and charge point over the left here is search icon uh, with search icon you can quickly locate your tickets based on um, client's name uh, phone number or even check-in number which are these numbers right here for instance I'm going to put in number 18 and quickly can locate the tickets right. and then we have um, salon profile icon here and then next to it is the drop down menu bar uh, with this one uh, you can quickly access all of the things that you need from close tickets to all the clients and then reports um, down here you can quickly clock in people uh, and then um, access all of the settings quickly here, right? So down here is Salon Center. Um, same thing, we have the waiting list on the right uh, where we have uh, two tabs. We can actually have the walk-in or the appointments, right? Everything is um, ordered by the number of check-in, right? So we know who check in first and then so on. And then uh, right next to it is our in-service uh, where uh, a ticket's already started will be over here. Down over here is pending where you can um, see all the tickets that are already done but not ready to pay. And lastly, we have technician column uh, where you can see all of the technicians who are working today and then their working status. They're ready or that they're busy. Oh, also over the corner here is where you can see all of the uh, records, the check-in records from when they're checking in, when they got their tickets started, uh, when they close, or even if they cancel, uh, you can see them all here under the check-in records. All right, and then over all the way over the right, you can see the icon here in open up today's bookings uh, for this. If the salon's busy with booking, you can easily locate uh, who's coming uh, in the upcoming hours and you can uh, check them in quickly here, right? Uh, for this, and you can also see the status of where they are. Uh, like Sarah is already checked in and she is, um, and she is over here, right? Or well, you can see her over here as the whole check-in. Um, you can quickly book an appointment here as well. Uh, if, if the client is coming in within a few hours or so, this is a quick way to book appointment, right? You can click X here to get out, right? So over as far as functionality, I will go over the three different setups that salons are currently using. And I'm going to go uh, with the full function and then all the way to um, the minimum uh, function the salon are using. So the first thing is what you are seeing right now is what we call a monitor in service. So with monitor in service, you have the three columns open up and where you can see in service and you can actually start a service and monitor uh, which um, clients already started with uh, with technician and their durations and, and everything there. So let's say that we, we drag it over and we start this ticket. Then this ticket now started with the technician showing busy status, right? And then if we want to look at the detail, we do one click. We can see the detail. Um, and if we do two clicks, then we go right into pay for the ticket, right? We can go back to Salon Center. 
With the full function, uh, we can also use pending, which we can drag and drop it down here, which show that the technician is done, the ticket is done, it's just not ready to pay yet. Right? So that is the setting for um, the full salon function, which monitor and service. The next one is what we call in and out, check in and check out. Check in and check out, simply we don't monitor in service, so therefore we only have our waiting list. So with our waiting list like this, then um, all we have to do is have the customer to check in, and then when we're ready to check out, we just click on the person who um, just did the service, and then select the customer. Well, for this version, we now have a search option. So you can quickly search by their name, right? Uh, or by their check-in number, or even by their phone number. Um, the last four digits of their phone number. Like say, if, if we're ready to check in, uh, check out number 19 is highlighted, we press enter. Uh, it's already have Joe on there. If we want to change the technician, we press yes. And then we go in and check out. We will go into the detail of the checkout um, section uh, on the next video. But for this particular video, we will focus only on um, the uh, salon center. The last um, setup that we are currently using uh, is um, technician only. This is where technician doesn't want to select the particular client uh, to save time. So to do this, we still can have a waiting list uh, for people to check in and reward them just based on their, um, their visits, right? At the end of the night, the ticket will close by themselves and we, we reward the clients by that. But as far as check out, um, we don't have to select them. So in order to do that, all we have to do is click on uh, the name of the person who's ready to check out but instead of one click, we do two clicks, double clicks. When we double click, we directly go to create and charge where we can quickly add services and check out, right? Again, we'll, we'll go into the de detail of the create and charge on the next video. Thank you, and I will see you on the next one.